this up. And I think it's just the human condition of our leaders, some of our leaders, who feel that they have to personally build themselves instead of the country. If you go to America, Europe, and other countries, citizens are extremely patriotic. That is their country first, the love of their country. Mm -hmm. If you have a love of your country, definitely, you're going to love your people. And if you love your people, you're going to do things to improve their lives. I mean, we bring a lot of tractors, we bring a lot of equipments into this country. Nobody give a heck because it's just about the money. You know, nobody cares talking about sustainability. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what ANG Agromechanical, what we are trying to do, or what we are doing right now is that if you buy a piece of tractor, this particular tractor, right, we created a condition whereby you, it's affordable. That's the first thing. The tractors are affordable. Number two, there's a mechanism in place that when you buy a tractor from us, you have to sign a service and maintenance agreement. It's a three-year, three-year service and maintenance agreement. Why? Because we want you taking this tractor home. You go to bed, you sleep, all you concentrate is your family. If there's a mechanical issue, there's a number that you call, we're going to attend to you. If you have a problem with spare parts, we are responsible. So just imagine within the span of three years that we are responsible. Just imagine what will happen. This has never been done in this country. This is what we're going to do. And like I said to, I always say, look, all my partners in Europe, I'm talking about our manufacturers. I said, look, two things. We need training. We need spare parts. And we need technology transfer, right? So they have agreed with me, and I'm going to show you back here where we are building the assembly plant. Where all these things, instead of from semi knockdown that SKD, we'll be moving to semi-manufacturing. So what I mean by semi-manufacturing that most of these parts will be fabricated yeah. right here. Then the third phase is that we'll be moving towards manufacturing, complete manufacturing. Then we'll be having branding. And now from Messi Ferguson, you'll be seeing something else instead of Messi Ferguson. Look, Mason Ferguson, they're just two white people who are dead hundreds of years ago. Two guys, uh, i just give you a, sh a short story about Mason Ferguson. Two guys, one was, uh, you know, the blocks, right? You know, the thing that put on the block and the plow, one was doing that, and the other one was making the plow. They decided, look, let's come and then meet. So Messi and Ferguson met. They said, well, let's do it together. Mm -hmm. And that's how it became Mason Ferguson. But if you look at this, all the companies came from different companies. You have Perkins in, right? That came from a different company. You have uh, Allison Transmission, right? That came from a different company. Then you have Axel, you have the Axel that came from a different, then you have this particular companies, came from different companies. So basically it's just a brand name of Mason Ferguson, but Mason Ferguson is not the one that is manufacturing. So why we can do it? We can also do, if you go to Brazil, you go to Pakistan, you go to China, you go to Malaysia, Indonesia. All these countries have designed a Greek input to sweet their environment, to sweet their climate. I think that is the adaptation. That's what we are trying to adapt. That's what we are trying to introduce. You know, I do understand uh, the obstacles and challenges in terms of moving this forward. But I can say we are very resilient. And ANG Agromechanical is going to change the paradigm of agriculture in this country. You know, so I think. Uh, Basically, that's what I just wanted you guys to see. The tractors that we brought in, we have almost about 30 of them coming. I mean, by tomorrow, tomorrow next, this place will be littered with a lot of machineries. And they will be assembling them. And I think you will have a chance again to continue this video for the public to see what we are doing to change agriculture, you know, to change the way things are going. You know, like I said, look, MOFA is great. I'm a product of MOFA, okay? And what we're trying to do is that we have a collaboration. We're trying to build on what they have already done. As you can see this place, we're trying to bring life here. You know, so I hope somebody is watching, somebody is looking, somebody is listening, that we are here to contribute to agriculture. We want to move it from one end to another.